If for some reason you turn your printer on for the first time and it decides it doesn't want to turn on, we plug our uh, wall plug in here. That'll go. Make sure you plug that end in where it goes. You turn it on, the screen should come on it, after maybe a two or three second delay. If it doesn't, then we've either got a problem in our power supply, it could be a problem in our motherboard, or it could be something as simple as our fuse has blown. And usually the fuse blows because two wires cross each other and short out. So this switch has a built-in fuse. And I'm going to take something pointy, uh, in this case we use the tip of my Leatherman, and it's got a little tray in here that we can put our uh, point in and pop out. And that little tray holds our fuse. Now that's just a little glass fuse uh, that is rated for 25 amps. And we're going to snap that down in and that allows us to insert it easily so we need to turn it the right direction so it'll insert down in there and the little key uh, slot key goes in the slot here we go ahead and push that in and you get give it a little push at the end because that's what snaps it in place uh, if your fuse is blown you will get no more power to the rest of your machine sure that that fuse is good, that we're plugged in, that we have power through our cord. Uh, so some of the troubleshooting uh, procedures would be like we've talked about in class with the electronics. Uh, test the cord first, see if you're getting full voltage to the power supply. If you're getting full voltage to the power supply, check. I would unplug our wire coming out of the power supply. And I would put my meter on those two connectors and we would check to make sure we had 24 volts coming out of the power supply. If we don't, then we know it's uh, kind of related to this area. If we do have voltage coming out of there, we go ahead and plug that back in. Then we would want to take off our cover for our motherboard and do some testing in the case there uh, to make sure we hooked up our power supply and those things correctly. Uh, we just troubleshoot the easiest first and work to the hardest and hopefully eventually we find the problem and it's easy to fix if not it's good experience <laughs>